So today we'll be reacting to some more popular YouTuber and streamer setups, ladies and gentlemen. The most highly requested setup to take a look at belongs to Nick A30, who I believe is a very popular Fortnite streamer. So yeah, with that said, let's get started. Before we continue, I want to give a huge thanks to Karma for sponsoring today's video. Karma is an app and extension that ensures you never miss a price drop or a coupon code. With so many products still out of stock or priced too high, it's now more important than ever to use Karma while shopping. I've actually started shopping around for parts for my setup and I saved a couple hundred dollars on these really awesome speakers, I'm not even kidding, and I was able to do this using Karma. And now you can download it too for free using my link down below. With Karma, you're able to add items to your list and get notified via mobile push or email when that product comes back in stock, goes on sale, or has a coupon code available. I've even created a separate wish list to organize my shopping. All the PC hardware has its very own category and so does the gear I'm looking to pick up for my setup upgrade. So if you guys want to get notified when a product you save comes back in stock, goes on sale or has a coupon code available, then make sure to download Karma for free using my link down below. All right, starting off with Nick A30 setup. Stream room 2021, this is it five months ago. All righty, let's take a look. <gasps> He's got a shotgun. He's got a shotgun. Moving in. Oh! Oh my god. Oh my god. Yo, this is insane. Oh my god. <laughs> this guy's cracked, yo. Hey everyone, it is Nick K30 here, and I've been making content for around Nick K30. Okay, that's how you say it. Okay, I was always confused. So let's go ahead and skip to straight to his setup. This is the new stream room. Okay. It looks a little better. Oh, those are sick. That looked pretty sick. Did he have two systems? I saw two different colors. So there's four different lights, four different switches to control all the different aspects of the room. As you can see right here, we have a green screen that we can pull down. Nice. These are the four monitors. I game on a 27 inch, 240 hertz monitor. We have our camera in the center. I really like the way it looks. So it has that side profile. We got the Elgato key lights, the mm. Shure SM7B microphone. We've got the Focusrite uh, audio interface. This allows me not only to hear- That's a nice uh, audio interface. What I'm, saying, but also I'm surprised he's not using like the GoXLR, like all the other streamers. And also monitor my voice with this, my big thing. It's nice to see something different. They're amazing new gaming headphones. I can hear everything in Fortnite. Love that. We've got uh -huh. a Razer keyboard, final mouse ultralight cape down two for a mouse. Okay, not bad. Cam right down here. It's a webcam plugged in. And of course the PCs themselves are custom made by- 3990X. RTX 3080. Oh, this is the streaming PC. Hallelujah. 32 gigs of RAM. ROG Zenith. Oof. Ooh la la. That is a nice system. Got a got a red and blue color scheme. I'm guessing that's his colors. So that's nice that he kind of stuck to a stuck to a color scheme. By Dad A30, liquid cooled, so we can overclock. Damn. It. Actually overclocked right now. Your dad built the PC. Uh, GPU. Even the RAM. That's so cool that your dad can build PCs, and he built the PC for you, man. The only thing my dad knew was how to use our savings money to fuel his gambling addiction. I wonder where he is right now. I wonder if he's okay. Dad, if you're watching this video. How come he never came back? You went out for those pack of cigarettes and he never came back as well all right overclock and of course the lighting matches my branding you can see over there as well you got the okay. purple matching over here the key oh so the, the gaming pc has a 9900ks and an rtx 2080 ti wait i'm confused the streaming pc has a 3080 but the gaming pc has a 2080 ti i, I Either the text is wrong or your dad made a boo-boo because you're supposed to put the You're supposed to put the better graphics card in your gaming PC and the streaming PC is supposed to have the higher core counts Because all the streaming PC is doing is running OBS or the streaming software and you're gaming on the PC So obviously you need a faster graphics card. So that's 
I'm kind of confused on, uh, on the specs there. But still, your dad built two really sick systems. I am It's cooled and it gets I'm really, jealous. really hot in here. We have some very nice AC installed. It also does heat very as well. Very nice AC. And after a stream, I like to kind of just sit back here, chill, get a nice little massage for my personal massager and watch That's some freaking nice baller TV status right, right there. there. I want to give a big thank you to Bose for sending this personal surround sound system. We have a center speaker, a right channel, left channel. We have the subwoofer actually down there. That's a cool backdrop surround, for a screen. Set up. Notice how nice custom fireplace, fireplace. All the wires in these little panels. And then there's the other channel for the speaker right over there. Soundproofing as well. My dad custom made this. I'll put everything in the description. Very nice material and it helps make it so there's no echo in here. Okay. We have of course the lights up there. Seems to be working. Well, there's like nice no stuff. echo and I talked about earlier, in the video. So the pull down green screen so it's for streaming it's interesting too because I've, i only i only count like maybe six pieces of those acoustic panels but i'm guessing because it, oh yeah he has carpet on the floor i think that's carpet yeah okay okay yeah that makes sense i want to do a video like an update video or something like that i can kind of have that nice clean background with my camera being dead nice, on center nice. Very nice. We also have a nice little chair as well with some good back support. I usually don't even use this back support at all, but still nice to have. We have the foot pedals, and that's basically so I can clip the last 60 seconds of my stream by hitting That's pretty button. convenient instead of hitting a macro this from is your uh, Elgato Stream Deck. And then we also, if you come on down here, we have four different power supplies. And basically what it is, is if the power goes out, it will still keep the power. <laughs> this guy has four UPSs. He's ready for the apocalypse, you guys. There's nothing stopping this guy from streaming. I love the preparation here. Power running, my game will work. We actually have a modem that's run on a battery backup as well. So this guy we is prepared. Which happens a lot in Nova Scotia. We'll still be good to stream. And for anyone wondering the reason why- All right, so let's let's address the elephant in the room, Nikki. Nikki, Nikki. Nick A cable management. Uh, we can't get a, a closer shot of it, obviously, but it's there. All of us, we can see it. You know what the thing that really bothers me here is it's not so much I can see cables everywhere, but the fact that there was effort put in for the cable management, I'm guessing by his dad, because he, he, apparently he's doing everything here. You can see raceways, right? You can see a few raceways in the front for the pedals. You can see a few raceways in the back against the wall to channel, channel the cables. And you can even see raceways from the PCs, you guys. Look at that, from the PCs to the back of the acoustic panel. So, like, the thought was there, you know, like, hey, should I work on the cable management and clean up the cables a bit? Like it was there, but it just wasn't 100% executed. That's why I'm a little disappointed. It's one thing to kind of work on the cables, but not go, you know, all in. And it's another thing to completely disregard it. If you, if you completely disregard the cables, I'd be like, okay, fine. This guy doesn't care about the cable management, but clearly there is enough care to work on some of it. So why not put in some extra effort and completely fix them up? That's where I'm kind of kind of confused. Now, in terms of the actual setup, let's go back here for a little bit. The butterfly monitor layout, it's cool. It's not too popular. I've only seen it one other time with the um, with Montana Black's setup. If you guys remember, it, it just doesn't seem too practical for me. You know, you're focused on one monitor obviously as you're gaming, and then you got three other monitors as your secondary watching chat, maybe multitasking and stuff. It's just I feel like a TIE Fighter style setup is more ideal. Dual stack monitors on top of each other, the way you have it right now, and then the other two, just flip them vertically and put them on the side. It's, it'll be so much more comfortable to utilize, you know? Your top right monitor won't be like way up there. Monitors will be closer to you, within reach, I, I, just, I just feel like it's more comfortable. That's actually the monitor layout I'm going with with my new setup that I'm working on. Um, and then you can move your camera obviously somewhere else. You say you, have a, you, know, you want a side profile, but it's kind of aiming towards your face. So it's not really a side profile. A side profile would be like over here. Everything else is pretty straightforward. Um, you got a couple keyboards and mouse for both your systems. You have a giant mouse pad, Elgato Stream Deck, and of course the Shear SM7B that everyone is rocking. Pretty straightforward stuff here. Nothing really that stands out for me to critique. Um, the only cool thing about this setup, honestly, were both of the custom water-cooled systems that you had, uh, that you have, and then you got your background with the fireplace. I thought it was pretty cool, but yeah, other than that, nothing really 
super unique or, or cool that stood out to me. I would have to give this setup a solid seven out of 10. One of the best setups I've seen so far on these reacting videos, believe it or not. There is a, a very nice foundation here for you, Nick, but I feel like you could do a lot more to build on top of it. But yeah, that is my rating, seven out of 10. Pretty good stuff there, Nick. All right, Phase Flea is also, was also one of the highly requested ones. Phase Flea setup, let's see what you got. He's a Fortnite streamer as well. How I made the world's best gaming setup? That's pretty ambitious to say, the best gaming setup. Let's take a look at your best gaming setup then. Hey, what's up guys, welcome back. So in today's video. $20,000 insane setup. I'm surprised you didn't put Fortnite in the tile. First things first, to start off the video, last setup tour, I had so many comments of people saying, okay, Fleet, cool setup, but where do you sleep? I don't think I've showed this in many videos, but if I- I like his voice, it's very here, soothing. And then through the hallway, and this calm. is Whoa. pretty much my bedroom. Nothing special here at all. As you can see, Bro. it is literally the definition of a bedroom. It is just a bed in a room. But yeah. That is like legitimately the most minimalistic bedroom I've ever seen. What? It's like one of those beds in an insane asylum, right? There's like no decoration on the walls. No, oh, there is a window, but it's closed off. Hey, you do you, my guy. But damn, that looks very, imagine bringing a girl home and like, this is where we're gonna do it. Bruh. <laughs> I wonder how many girls just like busted a 180 and ran out the door after seeing that bed. It's got RGB though. It's got RGB, and that's all that matters, ladies and gentlemen. Out of here. And this is basically the new setup that you've seen in the background of a lot of my videos lately. I've had some huge the workstation setup tour. In fact, that the setup, workstation. honestly, it was good. But at the end, of the that video, is that looks pretty cool. I wanted so many upgrades, and I've made almost all of those upgrades. So I'm going to be going over everything. I do love that massive floating desk. Yeah, my, my voice just cracked, holy crap. Uh, that massive, long floating desk he made. I love that, I love seeing that, it's really cool. One of the key features of this room is having LEDs along the bottom and the top. It kind of gives this like crazy effect, especially when I look in the mirror, you can see it just looks so cool having LEDs top and bottom like this, as well as we have the nano leaf panels over in the corner here. And in Nothing too exciting with the RGB, but you know, Really it's still, it still spices it up a little bit. In fact, the only things I have on my walls in this room is my nano. Yeah, it's very bland. Up here, so I have my very, very bland. The and then See, that'll be something really cool to put in the back. I mean, you're, you're obviously streaming, so you want your audience to have a nice background instead of just LED strips going across the wall. You know, display a couple of your, of your plaques. You know, you should be proud to present these and show them off to your viewers. You worked, I'm sure you worked really hard for them. So it'll give them something to look at. And um, also it kind of help populate the entire wall. Being a streamer, that's one of the most important things, right? To have a really nice background. Cool so that's what I would recommend. Soundproofing on the back wall. Now the coolest thing about this setup and what makes it all possible is this super long I call desk. It. Now let me explain call how this is even possible. So obviously you can't actually buy desks this big. This Probably desk two is actually solid wooden doors that were painted oh, white. Doors. And there's one door in the middle and there's two half doors. I've seen people use doors before for tabletops. Very creative. Which is actually really cool because it doesn't have any legs so I can just slide along with my chair yeah and that's underneath awesome. it's held up by a whole bunch of huge that's one of the uh, the best one of the reasons actually one of the reasons why I'm even doing a floating desk setup for my for my ultimate setup is so I can move around without touching the legs and plus I just think so, I think it looks a lot cleaner um, and a lot cooler in my opinion so that's why I'm doing that I'm actually I think I'm using the same triangle brackets too if I'm not mistaken this is very interesting, yeah. Brackets, and you can see my cable management, which is 10 times better than my last setup. All right, but now getting Okay, cable management was pretty good. I'll give video. him that. So this is setup number one. And basically, this is just the first setup that I ever started YouTube with. So we have my first ever monitors that I got, my first keyboard, my first mouse, mouse pad, and my first PC. So I actually- Okay. Up on screen of what it looks a bit cramped, to be honest, but you got the extra space for it. 
I can see why you put it there. Upgraded so many things that that is all spare now and I have a brand new setup. So here we are, ladies and gentlemen, with the God tier four monitor setup. So the nice. only reason I have four monitors is because all the way up until a week ago, I've edited every video on my channel. And for all you editors out there, you know that the more monitors, the better, the better especially yeah. for a fast mm -hmm. workflow. Let me just quickly change the background. All right, there we go. So that's probably what you're used to seeing. This is what I See, even Faze Flea's monitor layout is is something I recommend compared to what uh, Nick A30 was rocking. There are multiple ways you can do a, uh, a quad display setup. The butterfly layout is the least popular and my least favorite for many reasons. You can even do a triple monitor setup like this with a monitor up top, or, you know, I talked about the, um, the TIE Fighter monitor layout as well, which is more optimal. Those are just my recommendations what I have in my videos. So we got two 144 hertz monitors on the sides. We have a 240 hertz, which I play on in the middle. And then nice. a 60 hertz IPS at the top. And that's- Color correction, probably. And color correction, all that sort of yeah. stuff. And all these monitors are in fact mounted to the wall, as you can see. Beautiful. Give me a whole Absolutely beautiful. You got that beautiful floating look with the monitors. Once again, links will be in the description. Excellent. He even mounted the boom arm with my PC, for his microphone. You can see in the mirror there. I have all that stuff in the description. Description. Up at the back here, we actually got my. That well, come. On. Why do? You, why are you guys always skipping the good parts? Is that all you're giving us for the PC? Up at the off with my PC oh my that I can God. see in the mirror. Okay, I gotta check the specs then. One second. Okay, 10900. I'm guessing it's the non-K version. You didn't put the K next to it. And then RTX 2080 Ti. Okay, really good. Really good specs at the time of upload. And I. I would have an issue with the placement of the PC, but because he has a mirror on the left side of it, I'm gonna let it slide because he can easily look at it through the through the reflection. So kind of kind of a creative uh, genius placement for the PC. So not bad. I mean, it is reversed obviously because you're looking at a mirror, but still you can see it. So. Right there. I have all that stuff in the description. Up at the back it looks pretty here, cool. we actually got my gaming router, which is super overkill, but it does give Wi-Fi to the whole house. And that's sitting on my subwoofer to my speakers, which are the Logitech Z623s, I believe. Still amazing speakers, and I've had them. For Don't recommend putting a sub on the on the Up desk. Here, we actually have my mic, which is the Rode NT USB, so USB mic. I have the Rode shock mount and the Rode boom arms. So this is nice a really combo. good like beginner's mic setup. I haven't gone all out with Very my audio. Nice quality because you know i make fortnite videos so who really cares but it sounds good enough i still got this still very humbling mouse pad. I, still got I make fortnite videos who cares best mouse ever. I, I care god damn it well, on top of my pc i have the controller which i'm currently using so i do end up planning to switch to the ps5 controller but not until it has support on fortnite so this is my current controller people still play using fortnite with a controller little... that is news to me I thought the keyboard and mouse was like the best with Fortnite because you're constantly building forts and stuff, right? You need to, you need quick access to the uh, to the buttons. I would assume, right? I'm oh, damn. I'm like way behind on Fortnite news, Logitech man. C922 webcam for my videos, but I do want to start using this camera to record videos. It would just make my quality look a little bit better. Also, on top of my PC, we. Yeah, if you want to take streaming seriously, obviously you want to go for a mirrorless camera, maybe even a DSLR if you got the budget for it. But if you're starting out, stick to, you know, one of those Logitech C920 or any of the Logitech series webcams. Have my mix amp to my new headset. So this is debatably one of the best, if not the best wireless headsets in the world. And a big reason for that is that you- It's not bad, but I want to say it's the best. Headset. So it actually has a little battery inside and there's also a battery charge. Everyone is rocking the Steel so Series headset. Never, Everyone, you guys have seen Setup Wars. Literally, charge, three out of the five submissions, Steel Series, Arctis 7s. So people must love them, right? Invention by Steel series and by far my favorite headset I've ever owned. All right, guys, so that is going to be it for- That is it, okay. Uh, this was a much better recorded setup tour, so I will give this guy some pro some major props on the, on the recording. Uh, so let's go back to the setup. There are some things I do want to talk about. First and foremost, I do love that there is a, uh, a specific theme going on here with the lights. It's, it's mostly black with purple lighting as the accent color, and it's consistent throughout the entire setup, right? We got black peripherals as well. We got the black speakers. 
it's not just, you didn't just buy gear and toss it together just to build a setup. So there is, there's a little bit of planning involved. I do love the custom floating desk. I think it looks immaculate. Uh, cable management's really great here underneath the desk, but on top of the surface, it seems like you didn't put too much care into them. You can clearly see a bunch of wires from the speakers and the keyboard and mouse. He did drill a hole in the desk to route the cable. So like he definitely cares enough about the cable management. I'm just surprised he didn't kind of go all out 100% on that, um, on, on the cable management, but still really good compared to other streamers that I've seen. The entire setup on the right side just doesn't, just kind of ruins the, the whole, you know, setup aesthetic that he was going for. That setup has no business being in here, but again, at the same time, he does have the space for it. It'd be a complete waste if he didn't utilize the setup. He does have the gear for it too, so why not build a setup in the corner there, I guess. If there was another room somewhere else in his, in his house, you know, definitely move that somewhere else. Maybe even his bedroom. His bedroom could use a, uh, use a few more additions. So this, so it's not so minimalistic, but yeah, other than that, I do like the, um, the acoustic panels you put on the wall. He's very consistent with that. So obviously it does make an impact on soundproofing. You can tell in the video too, there's like barely, barely any, uh, any echo or reverb. So there is functionality and a little bit of aesthetics, I guess, with the acoustic panels as well. Uh, he doesn't have a headphone anger. I can see he's hanging it right there on top of the monitor, but that's, that's a very small, very small detail. Uh, the biggest thing though, I would say from a streamer standpoint is working on this wall in the back. Um, I would definitely do something with the, with this massive empty wall behind you. Like I said, you know, maybe a couple shelves, holding up some figurines, collectibles, posters, maybe even some more night leaf panels in the back, just to spice it up for your viewers, um, instead of keeping it so minimalistic, but that's just, that's just my two cents. One last thing I do want to touch up on was the subwoofer location. You're not supposed to put the sub on your desk. It's supposed to be placed on the floor. Uh, I get why you did it. Obviously it looks a lot cleaner behind your monitor tucked away instead of on the ground where you can see it. Yeah, I'm surprised, you know, the vibrations from the sub doesn't really bother you. That's not something that I would recommend at least. Overall rating for this setup, I have to say it is a solid eight out of 10. I think that is the highest rating I have given on these videos, I believe. I don't think anybody, no wait, no, Montana Black got a nine, so never mind. No, it's still way up there. I would say top five of the setups I've seen on these React series. But yeah, excellent, excellent setup. Flea, you have an amazing foundation here. You could definitely work on some of the cable management and rearranging of some of the products to really spice it up, but well done. Alrighty then, ladies and gentle beans. Last setup we are reacting to belongs to its Jerrion. This is also one of the highly requested setups to take a look at. I believe he's also a Fortnite streamer by the looks of it. Yes, yes he is. Oh yeah, oh it's more recent, one month ago. Okay, let's go. There's one thing I love, it's fresh setups, ladies and gentlemen. The, the actual setup. No, I did not have to sell my setup. That was the S-bombs. That's why there was weird white S-bomb. What the hell is an S-bomb? <laughs> but as you can see, this is the setup. Okay. Personally, I think my camo black mouse pad would look a lot better in your setup. I'm just saying, Jerry. And if you want one for free, just, just hit me up. Not much has really changed since last year. We're gonna go over all of it more in depth. I mean, I did add some stuff. I feel like it looks more complete. What do you think? It looks nicer. Oh my Black on. <laughs> Pretty straightforward dual monitor setup. Really nothing exciting that's sticking out to me. Right off the bat, at least. Wait, cut that out. We'll begin from right to left, I guess. Also, I forgot to add, last year we did not have a cameraman, so let me know what you guys think. Should I hire the S-bomb as a permanent camera? What's an S-bomb? 20,000 likes, I'll let him drop out of college. <laughs> it's an S-bomb. <laughs> that is such an interesting Anyways, name. Anyways, starting on the right side, I guess we'll go with the desk. We actually have the same desk, me and the S-bomb. We got a car with two, two Alex units. From Ikea, so like, I feel like Jurian watches um, some, some setup wars. I don't know why I'm getting that vibe. That you keep in the kitchen, and we put it on two Alex drawers. They're both black, and they're huge. Kale Mines was looking pretty good too. Crap in here, like my mice. Maybe he does watch setup boards. I don't even know hmm. what's in here. That'd be Do you watch setup boards, Jerry? Let me know, man. Uh, Gamer goo. Cut that out too.
So that's basically the desk the hell is and what keeps it up. Everyone always asks me because it's actually a pretty nice desk and it's not that expensive. Okay, sorry guys, I gotta I gotta look that up. Okay, what the hell is gamer goo? Win more games with gamer goo? What the freak? This is the first time I'm hearing about this. What is gamer goo for? Gamer goo is designed by gamers for for gamers specifically for emulated gamer goo helps you optimize your game performance by keeping your hands dry, cool, and sweat free. Oh, so it's lotion. Wait a minute. Is it that type of lotion? Can it be used for that type of activities? I wonder. After that, we'll go to the PC. This is the PC the S-Bomb built. It's the 3090. Let me move this out of the way. Should I turn it on? 3090. So it's a 3090 i9 10900K. 3090 with a dual 8-pin PCI connector? What is the power draw on that card? Holy moly, what are, what are the clock speeds on that card is what I want to know. 64 gigabytes of RAM, liquid cooled. It has the cool little, yeah, it's got the screen. It shows Damn. the temperature. Damn. I could put stuff up, but I'm too lazy. Nice. And I don't think I left anything else out. What else? Your else rear RGB me? fan is not working, by the way. Why, thank you. I don't know if that's oh, off or sorry. not. Sorry. You pretty much have everything, yeah. <laughs> we got the lights on the front. I actually, I don't think people know this, but the RGB on this back fan broke. So blame That's literally the, the first thing I noticed. These suck, and it's all his fault. That was the case's fault. Oh. This is what it looks like in the dark. Why are the monitors not this on? It's expensive. It's triggering me. Because of the parts. It was because I wanted to make... The PC's on, but the monitors are off. It's that's triggering me so much right now. little white lights. Worth the money, though? I think... Yes. Speaking of lights, these are two Elgato key lights. I can actually control nice. them with my phone, which I've always wanted to show. So yeah, I know. I know you can do that. I'm surprised he has it bouncing off the wall. I mean, you can really adjust the brightness of it and the temperature to a point where it's not blinding your face or washing off your face, or overexposing the camera. So I don't know why you have it facing facing the wall, just have it facing you. After that, we have another Ikea. This is just a plant, and if you see, I use it to hide my cables. Aren't I a genius? How smart is that, S-Bomb? He's a genius. Yep, yeah, he knows I'm a genius. Oh, he's S-Bomb. we have two wireless mice USB receivers because I'm bougie. So I use the <laughs> Razer bougie. Viper Ultimate, I believe this is. <laughs> I use this for editing because I like to be lazy when I edit. But then when I play Fortnite, I use the Logitech G Pro Wire. How do you use a Viper so Ultimate for editing old videos? Wires. My guy, use an like MX said, Master. I'm bougie, I'm an old man. Wires are for... What, what does the Viper Ultimate give you for editing that any other ordinary gaming mouse doesn't. It's literally, there's no features, there's no hyper scroll wheel, there's no side scroll wheel on that. I'm, I must be missing something. They're both wireless too. People. Over here we have my Focusrite Scarlet. That is for my mic. It's called a USB audio interface. This is a Sony A6400. So I basically have this nice. mounted. You could show the cable management is, oh uh, God. <laughs> but you can't uh, see it. No, you can't see it. That's the best part. So I have this hooked up with another Elgato device. It's called the Elgato Cam Link. And that mm -hmm. basically makes it so I could use a normal camera, kind of like the one the S-Bomb is holding. I could use that as I play and record videos. I don't need a cheap Logitech one. I don't even know how much it costs, but if you want to make videos, definitely start cheap with something like Logitech, and then you can work your way up for this. You can see the mouse pad I have upside down and turn the other way. It's the mouse pad company one. And the get the black camo, Jerrion. Because I used to use If you this like that of sort of design, get the black camo. But since I'm a genius and I didn't want to buy another one, I just turned it upside down and flipped it because, like, you never really use the side that has your keyboard. Okay. Aren't I a genius for that? You stole the idea from me. What? I did that. Oh, well, anyways, it's smart. You don't need to buy a new mouse pad. Board. What keyboard is that? Upside down. That looks pretty interesting. The design's pretty cool, though. This is also where I keep Oh, it's my a cover. <laughs> I thought it was a freaking... Oh, I thought it was like a different keyboard or something. This guy has a cover on it. That is genius. What do you think about it? Holy crap, why haven't I thought about that? The best way to prevent your keyboard from getting dust and dirt in between the keycaps, just put a cover on it when you're not using it. Oh my God, I learned something from today already. I think these are only for like those pre-built keyboards that can pre-packaged. You gotta keep the, uh, the top cover.
Yeah, I have a Not all keyboards come with that, unfortunately. That's what this thing is. But this is just the best keyboard in my opinion. It's very smooth. It's kind of dirty. Final things in terms of the main setup are the monitors. This is a 360 hertz. This is 240 hertz. They're both Alienware and they kind of match. Nice. It's cool. But I don't use 360 hertz in a Fortnite. In Fortnite, I use 240 hertz because it's impossible to get stable 360 FPS in tournaments. It's kind of a waste, but I did it for you guys. I did it for the content. You didn't do it for the content. You did it for yourself. Come on, it's your monitor, my guy. What? I bought a monitor because of you guys. What? Who says that? We also have the nut button. Nut, nut, nut. That's what I do when I see the S-bomb. On the left side, this is kind of random crap, even though it's a PS5. I only have this on random the crap. because I've been too lazy it's to put it It's a PS5 in there. This is the PS5 controller. You can see over here, this is the box for it, which I'm gonna put into this closet. I have both next-gen consoles because I played tournaments on both of them, and I can fairly say the Xbox Series S is better. It's cheaper, you get better. Ah, uh, this man's capping over here. Uh, we all know the PS5 is better, first of all. Secondly, if the Xbox was better, you would have that in the place of the PS5, not the PS5, my guy. So, why are you lying? Why the f*** you lying? Why are you always lying? Mm, oh my god, stop it. FPS. The only thing the PS5 does better is you can hear your teammates, and that's why I bought it, so I can record videos and hear my teammates, but I don't really have a reason why it's what? still on my desk. So my headset is the HyperX Cloud Alpha. I believe I've had that's a nice headset. Like three years. I can improve. It's insanely comfy, and they're pretty durable. I've never really wanted to upgrade. I know people have like the studio headsets, but these have worked for me. This is just a headset rack, which I installed. Oh yeah, the chair. He has a this headphone hanger. That's good. Staples, I believe. It's called a staples My man is so humble. Chair. He's rocking a Costco it chair. Sits by dump truck of an ass. Or a Staples chair, right same thing. I can also spin. We need to get this guy. We have it on one of these office. A freaking uh, Vertigear so or Herman market. Miller. And then a final thing, if you look under, look at that cable management. Isn't that pretty fire? Wait, don't show That's, me. I wouldn't say it's pretty fire. Yeah, it's pretty good. Wait, go back. Look at it's that. It's pretty good. There's no cables. I hit a ball. And then if you actually look under, it gets. And he did it himself. His dad didn't do it. it. I basically take Nick to the top. I'm looking at you. I TikTok name Low. I watched him and how he did it. And I kind of managed the cables pretty decently. It could definitely be clean. You watched who? We have it. And I kind of managed the cables pretty decently. It could name low. I watched him and how low. he did it. And I kind of managed the cables. You watched him and you did this cable management? My guy, I think you're watching the wrong content creator. Let me uh, let me send you my cable management guide and you will improve that by a thousand percent. That's all I got to say. All right, so let's go to the setup. Yes. Baby girl. She's always interrupting me. He's always interrupting me. This is like the second time. You interrupting daddy? I'm looking at setups. Do you, do you like Jerrion's setup? What do you want to give it out of 10? All right, so let's take a look at the setup. I do have some critique as always. So let's start off with the monitor layouts. This is a very popular monitor layout if you're going with two monitors. I can see why a lot of people do it, but it's just, it's not really, it's not really optimal because every time you put your second display at a 45 degree angle, you're cutting off everything behind that monitor. So that entire space on your desk becomes, I don't wanna say obsolete, but becomes unreachable. So if you're putting stuff like, I don't know, a picture of yourself and your dog, you're not able to see that. You're not able to reach for that. So speakers, for example, uh, picture frames, even consoles, if you need to obviously reach over to the console or turn it on, everything just becomes really difficult and kind of pointless in that sense. I would probably just go with a dual stack monitor layout for this type of desk layout that you have. I think that makes the most sense and you can move your camera to either side of the monitor. Um, but you know, it does, it does come down to preference, unfortunately. Another thing I noticed, there's no real type of theme or a color scheme going on here. It just seems like you gathered many different parts over time and you just threw it in your setup without any type of planning, I guess, is what I'm looking for. We got a black and a white mouse, black and white mouse pad, the red from the, from the Scarlet Audio Interface, the blue from the nut button, the green from the plant. There's just so many different colors. It, nothing really seems too appealing. From an aesthetic standpoint, I would say it's not too pleasing. 
to look at from a functionality standpoint, it, it seems sound. Uh, in my opinion. So that brings me to my final rating. I would have to say it's a solid 7 out of 10. You could also try and adjust the monitor so there's no space between both of them at the very least, you know, try and make it presentable, but it's not a bad setup at all. I would definitely say still one of the top five setups I've seen on these React videos. Yeah, Jerry, if you're watching this video, I do recommend checking a few setup boards videos. Maybe that will help you, give you some inspiration on what you can change and it will also help you with, uh, with the cable management as well. As a reminder, if you guys wanna get notified, if a product you save goes on sale, comes back in stock, or has a coupon code available, make sure to download Karma for free using my link down below. And that will do for today's video. As always, if you guys want me to react to other popular YouTuber or streamer setups, let me know who in the comment section down below. If you guys are enjoying these types of videos, as always, let me know by dropping a like before you head out. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you very soon in the next one. Daddy's working. I gotta put a lock on that door so you can stop coming in here and interrupting me. It's not daddy-daughter time yet. That starts in 30 minutes. Okay. I love you, girl.